Welcome back. We first met celebrity stylist Brad Goreski when he was Rachel Zoe's assistant. Now he has his own show documenting life as a stylist to the stars. Season two of It's a Brad, Brad World debuts tonight. Here's a little bit. <laughs> I'm shooting editorials. I'm flying all over the world. The stakes are very high. What more could you ask for? He's making the stars red, the stars red carpet ready. Rashida Jones, Stacey Keebler. Wow. Best dress list. You do understand that we're about to make fashion history. Next level. level. <laughs> Next level. <laughs> so great to have you with us this morning. I was Thank always you. so stressed for you when you work with Rachel Zoe. Like it, it was very stressful watching you. I was a little stressed for me yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> so then, so then, when you went in to do your own show, is it is it much more fun because you're running things, or is it equally stressful? It's a different kind of stress. You know, the stress of being an assistant is uh, different than the stress of being a boss because I make the decisions, and when you're an assistant, you're executing the wishes of your boss. And you can get fired. And you can get fired. I can't fire myself. I did not get fired, which is great. But I try now with my assistants to be like you know, aware of the amount of work I'm giving them and, and to just oh, kind of check in with boss? them. As I try. That'll yes. wear off. <laughs> <laughs> I give that for season three and that's it. His employees are watching going, yeah, right. Yeah, I know. Right. 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 I'm constantly like trying to like gauge what's going on with them. or Because they're going to do their own spin-off show in it, a couple right. of years. I hope so. <laughs> what, what's, the, what's the craziness that's going to happen in season two? Well, this season you really get to see me working with my clients. It's the, it's the nitty gritty of the styling world. So you see me in fitting with Minka Kelly on tonight's episode, uh, Rashida Jones, Beth Bears. Her. She's amazing. And then me doing my job all over the world. I work with Kate Spade New York as their brand stylist, uh, with J Brand. Um, we go all over the place. It's nuts. And then, of course, more with me and my boyfriend, Gary Gennetti, um, who I've been with for 12 years. Who's hilariously funny. He's great. He's so, really, really good. So when you watch the Oscars or you, I mean, do you sit there and just judge, judge, judge? Yes, you do, right? Yes and no. <laughs> you know, I am very friendly with the majority of the stylists that are in Los Angeles and we see each other all week long. And so we definitely, you know, go like... People hated that dress that Anne Hathaway's wearing. Some. I loved it. I mean, I think she's a beautiful woman, can wear mm -hmm. a paper bag and she Here's looks fantastic. Here's the thing that's happening. Anne Hathaway won an award, the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress, in a role that she was fantastic in. I think the fact that her dress is overshadowing the fact that she gave a great performance is a little upsetting. And my 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 wish is that everybody just release Anne Hathaway and I let know. her enjoy all of her What is it with Anne Hathaway? Hathaway. Well, well, shouldn't she I like say it. three words? Get over it. Yeah. I mean, I mean, as opposed to feeding into it, and I apologize. Say, guess what? Get over it. Twitter jail is a tough thing to break no, out. <laughs> do you, did you work with stylists? I mean, as a model, do people judge you as, you know, every time you show up with something, did you, did you care about that? <laughs> you no, know, models are allowed to show up in really bad clothing, and then the stylists take over from there. Really? <laughs> but models, I find, also usually have really good style, too. Like, such great street style. But Whenever it's really they come simple, in. simple, right? I mean, yeah, it's usually like yeah. a leather jacket, like a baggy Because they have legs up to their necks, that's why. <laughs> I, I wear a leather jacket and jeans, too, if I were eight feet tall. <laughs> doesn't have a stylist and you say you know what they're, they're handling their own business I like what they do well Diane Kruger says she doesn't really use anybody that she she deals directly with the designers and she's actually one of my red carpet favorites mm -hmm. yeah she's she's most people have it though because I think what people forget is that we provide a service and the service is that these actresses are really busy promoting their films they're doing all kinds of press they're filming at the same time they have families I come in with a rack of beautiful clothes and say you should wear X, Y, and Z, and it helps to make everything a little bit easier. What if that. someone so, picks X, and you're like, ooh, hating X? I'm very honest, and you'll uh -oh. see that on the show, too, because um, I want my clients to feel great when they walk out the door. I don't want them to look... And that's my job, too, is to push them a little bit out of their comfort zone and say, like, you should try wearing, you know, more color, or you should try wearing Who's the most strapless. adventurous? Who will wear, like, the craziest thing? Um... I would say of my clients, Rashida Jones and Jessica Alba. Actually, guess. Christina Ricci does, too. She loves to wear some, some cuckoo Speaking stuff. Speaking of color, uh, the socks and the shoes you have on, what's the deal? We got, so I saw Are you walk out. On the yeah, table? come on. Yes. So right. I saw your shoes. I got my Texas boots, baby. So you got the red Yours socks. Yours from Texas. Mine are straight from West Hollywood. Okay, got you. So, but, so you got the red socks with the red sole. All yeah. right. Okay. Yeah, that means very, very expensive. Red sole, this thing here, that's a 
lot of money right there. <laughs> That's right. And, and, and these men do not mess with me. I will kick <laughs> your butt. They pray. Then so I'll, do these, by the way. <laughs> 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 then, then I'll pray for you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. Now, Gretchen, it's so great to have you on. Congratulations you. on the second season. I'm so I'm such a big fan of your oh, stuff. Oh, thank you so much for having me on. I really appreciate it. You bet, you bet. Second season of It's a Brad, Brad oh, World will premiere uh, tonight, <laughs> 10 p.m. Eastern on Bravo. Get your feet off my table. <laughs> thank you. Endpoints up next.